yeah. some really big garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is a this right here is a big onion, and I've been working on this onion for days. Okay, uh, you don't have to feel like you got to use everything every single time. I'm the only person that I cook for, so this onion will last me for a couple days. It would not me. I'd probably put that whole thing in something. No, I love <laughs> onion. I will put way more onion than tuna. I like okay. a little tuna in my onion. Just a little bit, huh? Yes. Okay, so uh, I've got, what I'm doing right now is I'm just prepping uh, some things that, that I'm going to be using, not necessarily in this order, but I know I'm going to need the onion. That's why I'm I using, like those uh, mats. Pardon me? That's why I like those mats. You can cut up different things on it. And then yeah. just walk over there and just shove it off the side, you know. That's right. Yeah. Now we're uh, going to be so making a uh, recipe and cooking club that calls for kielbasa, uh, and I know that I'm only going to be using about six inches of it for the re for the recipe. So I'm going to also going to use uh, about that much for the spaghetti. Uh, when my dad my dad made the spaghetti in the house, and he always put. Uh, uh, Polish sausage or kielbasa in it. Um, I have never. That sounds good, though. You oh. know? Listen, and he make... also, also put hot links in, in it, too. Oh, so. okay. Well, I make a couple of recipes that use that kind of sausage. And um, you can use smokeless, skinless sausage and all that. Well, I kept calling it Polska kielbasa. I don't care what I bought. And my son, every time I hear... Well, I need to, I say, I've got to go get sausage. You'll say, what, Polska kielbasa? <laughs> That's in front of me. And I'm his mama. I know. What about, how did you raise him? <laughs> I know. I know, right? All right. So, wow, Ashton, you get out of our comments. You get out of our comments. Goodness. <laughs> What's Ashton doing? Nope, I'm not saying that. You'll have to get off there and read it yourself. Okay, all right. I was worried. I was worried about Sketchy. She's boy. When I told her what I was making and how I was making it, she her blood pressure went up. She says, "You're not going to use my my hour to do that." I said, "Yeah, I am. Yeah." That's a small <laughs> six inches. Ashton said, "Y'all need to shut it." Oh my God. And and Sketchy said, I was thinking it. You just said it. Oh, my word. Oh, well, wow. okay. Wow. I'm glad they're not in the box. Glad they're not in the box. Mm -hmm. right. If you're down there in the comments doing that, you might as well be in the box. <laughs> yeah, and here's people laughing about it. I knew Natural. I couldn't count on you guys. Natural. Or something else. Something else. Okay. I do love sausage, though, she said. <laughs> oh, my God. No, stop reading those comments. I, I'm sorry I asked you, okay? All right, all right. That's what I'm yeah, saying. It was, it was my fault. I, I never should have asked you. As soon as you said yeah. Ashton, that should have been enough for me. That, that's your first clue. Yep. Okay. Uh, Let's get that. I'm done with that. Move this out of the way. And we're going to uh, get to sauteing some garlic and olive oil. I need to set my are, burner up. Are you going to get your uh, sauce simmering so it can Pardon be me? simmering? Yeah. Yes, that's what that's what I'm working on is getting the sauce simmering. All right. You girls need to straighten up. You know, you notice Ashton is blocked. <laughs> Ashton needs to get some church okay she does yeah I want purple next time so I can look now I, I told her I want some red like that maroony red it's shiny I, you, you know I see a pointy nose what is that your implication I'm lying Man, I hope you're not talking about my hair. My feelings will be hurt. Yes, that she said, Well, show me what color you want, and then we'll 
send me a picture. And I said, okay. Okay, oh, so I'm get, I've got a little olive oil down. We're going to get the uh, onions to soften up a little bit. She's not blocked. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, about Ashton being blocked. The dog, <laughs> she, The dog. Let me think. Hey, you better watch out. Ash, Ashton's got a little army there. She'll come after us. I'm telling you. She's got that thrifted roots, gal, and I'm telling you what. She's very, <laughs> she's very protective of her. <laughs> So who, do uh, we have any regulars in the house right now? Who? Do we have any regulars in there? Yeah, we've got special Ken Ohio and Hey Ken. Let's see. Um let's see. Ellen S Ellen's Ellen Ellen B. Yes. Hey, That's Ellen. what I said. And um, I don't know if Southern is my name, is regular or not, but um, I don't know how to say this other one. Isume? Oh, Isume 66? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, boy, Isume you know 66. everybody. Oh, the Righteous Kitchen's in here. In oh, Righteous what? Kitchen. Hello. Okay, so I'm um, I'm softening some onions because I'm getting ready to make a um, uh, spaghetti sauce. I know it should be, should be called marinara sauce, but uh, hey, Chef Bradley, I'm not, I'm not getting all fancy. Hey, Chef Bradley, he's making spaghetti, lady red, lady red. All right, let's get some. Garlic going. This is too pretty. I'm not going to open it. Which I know you, sketchy chef would definitely do that, but I'm not. I'm not doing it because she ain't here today. True. I've always said spaghetti sauce as well, Kaz. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> well, we're gonna get a couple cloves of garlic going. Just like Granny said, if you can get Food Talk to 45K likes, I'll go live a lot tomorrow. Ooh, well, this smells good. All right. Hey, y'all. Notice I've got it off the heat because I don't want it to burn because the pot is warming up. Okay. I love it too, California Huntress. Um, Y'all, please uh, follow the host and like and tap the screen, please, and try to get us in the FYP. Let's get a little kosher salt going. I just bought this and forgot to open it up before the live. So, yes, please follow Food Talk TV. We're on every single day. Used to be me and Sherry on all the time. But now we have lots and lots of cooks. So we are on every single day. Those onions are not burned. No, they are not. They are brown. She said, you burned the onions. <laughs> no, they are brown. They are not burned. And besides... Onions, I'm not worried about burning. It's garlic that I worry about burning. Yes. Righteous Kitchen brought up a good point. What? That we're about to find out if sugar really belongs in spaghetti sauce. Yeah, yes, we are, aren't we? We're gonna we're gonna see what the chef does. So I'm using spaghetti sauce out of the can. And that's going to be a difference. That, as a matter of fact, this is actually going to make the decision as to whether spaghetti, whether sugar belongs into uh, spaghetti sauce. Okay. That's, well, Sketchy says, Kaz, don't do it. 
<laughs> Take a poll. I, I want to know in the comments. What do you guys think? Sugar belongs or does not belong in spaghetti right. sauce? Does, does or does not belong? <clears throat> well, Ashton said it belongs. Okay. Crazy, crazy about guns said no. no. Rogers Kitchen said yes. Okay. Uh, Rosie Rell says does. Uh, October Dragonfly says no. And Ooh. Granny said I'm just messing with Kaz. Um, Sketchy said no. And Ellen said I cannot use canned spaghetti sauce. Too much sodium. Too much sodium. And Sun Goddess said it does. Granny said it does. A crazy Bap Gun said, slow cook your sauce like we have an hour for a live, doing the best we can. Uh, <laughs> yes to sugar, Ellen said. Uh, depends on the tomatoes and the acid level. That okay. sassy angel, righteous kid. Oh, Contadina, that's a winner. Okay, so I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you how to tell whether uh, if you're using spaghetti sauce, or I'm sorry, just straight tomato sauce. This is the way to tell whether um, whether you need sugar. Okay, she very technical. Said, and this this slide, uh, in case you miss it or in case you don't quite understand it, this slide will be on Facebook tomorrow and on YouTube, and you can replicate this test. Okay, all okay, you do is listen. Chef Bradley said yes. No, depends on the cook. Okay, so this is the way you do it. You take it in and you put it put it on your finger. Then you put it on your tongue. And if it tastes like it needs sugar, you put sugar in it. Exactly. Like I said, if you need if you need to um, to rewind this, all you have to do is go to Facebook.com tomorrow or um, or you go to YouTube and you can see this very, very technical uh, test that I use. You taste it. If it's too bitter, put Happy some sugar spring. in it. All right, listen, they're saying that sugar tames the acidity. So if it gives you heartburn, then you needed to put sugar in it. And if you put if you put sugar in something that has too much acid, you're still gonna get heartburn because <laughs> it still has the acid in it. Anyway, that's my lesson. This conadita is uh, it is not too bitter. It's going to be just fine. However, if you like sugar, put sugar in. Right. Okay. That settles it. <laughs> I have no bias against sugar. You just taste it. That's all. If it needs salt, guess what? You add some salt. Right. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all it comes down to. And now, if this were Hunt's, I would probably put some sugar in. Hunt's is very bitter. San Marzano, San Marzano uh, uh, tomatoes are typically bitter. And yes, you definitely want to put uh, anything that comes out of a can that says San Marzano on it uh, is going to be more bitter. And that's where the whole sugar thing comes from. Your dad's boyfriend said, Italian here. My family always puts sugar in pasta sauce. Chef Bradley says he makes his from uh, scratch. Now, I would love to see you do that on an hour live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes. See, uh, uh, my mother's boyfriend, uh, Italian family. They're probably using Italian tomatoes. And to uh, Italian tomatoes are typically more bitter. So. So that person is right. The people that don't use it are right. It just depends on your taste. Okay, so let's get this started back up, back up again. I wonder how many people agree or disagree with me on this. Well, I could go back and try to count all that, but I got more yeses than no's, I'm thinking. Okay. All right, so Granny right now said I've got, it's out your can. Pardon me? Oh yeah, don't I'm not gonna waste anything. <clears throat> now, 
ever. I'm not done putting ingredients in here. I need some uh, basil and some oregano. And let's come over to, this is the oregano. So let's get some oregano here. Oh, it doesn't want to come off easily. It doesn't want to go lightly. Let's, let me get some scissors here. I know that poem. You can't get any more fresh than that. I have to agree. Let's get some basil. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chef Bradley. He sent gifts. Uh, Special Ken Ohio says your indoor garden looks so nice. California oh, Hunter said, you. I never heard of using sugar till I met someone from the Midwest. And it's the only way. Turn this down a little bit. I'm not trying to boil out all the everything. He said, he said the gifts was for you having your plants. That's oh, for the thank plant. you. Okay, so let's get the oregano in here. And just not going to go through the trouble of Giuliani, the um, Basil, I'm just going to get it in there. Tear it. That's what I call a rough chop. <laughs> yeah, it's a very rough chop. <laughs> Boy, this basil yeah. smells good. Mm -hmm. Chef Bradley said, I have basil, everything else died. Okay. Get this in here. Now I'm going to move this off camera and move over to the actual stove because this needs to simmer on low for for at least 15 minutes. While I do that, while that happens, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some cheesy garlic spread. And I do want to ask them what their um what their opinion is about uh, do you when you get through making your spaghetti and your noodles do you put the white noodles down and then put the sauce over it or do you mix it together what do y'all do that's a good question and special Ken Ohio wants to know what you're going to do with the hamburger buns have you never had a spaghetti hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's going to be meat in this. And I'm, I'm letting the, uh, the sauce simmer off right now. I'm going to, going to put sausage and uh, hamburger down. I'm going to tell you what they're saying. Okay. Uh, Ashton said sauce over noodles. Benita says mix. Special, special Ken Ohio says, I always mix mine. Um, Righteous Kitchen, pasta with the sauce on top. Um, leftovers should be mixed. I always mix mine. Pa uh, let's see. Put the sauce over the noodles. Do not mix them together. Both. Depends, sketchy chef. If I have leftover sauce, I make lasagna. Uh, October Dragonfly, by taste makes Weight Watcher depends on the style of dish. I don't know what that means. Leftover spaghetti sandwiches are off. Oh, really? Um, okay. Well, I was talking to him about it prior to this, <clears throat> and I told him I'm going to always cook on my page like I like it, and I don't like just naked noodles. It's just gross. Put something on it. I want my sauce on it, marrying up with it where I can enjoy it. You know what I mean? 
but that's me. Not everybody's the same. So that's a do you boo recipe, right, Kaz? That's right. Yep. You know, almost everybody had spaghetti when they were growing up, but everybody had it a different way. Right. Unless it, unless it came out of a can. Who's and I've got some spaghettios in there. Chef Bradley said spaghetti tacos. Now, I have had chicken spaghetti tacos at a Mexican person's house. And the sauce I put on it blistered my mouth for a month. And it was awesome. Smaller amount of sauce and put pasta and some grated cheese. Okay. My mom always mixed. Yeah, special kid on how I said my mom always Mix the spaghetti with the sauce. It stretches the meal further, and you are absolutely right. When I did a TikTok the other day, poor folks have poor ways. I agree. All right. He's got her going, y'all. This is Food Talk TV. Please like, uh, follow the host, Food Talk TV, and follow Kaz underscore. Well, just put Kaz. He'll pop up. Um, it's Cooking with Kaz. And I'm Sherry Skinner. A bunch of our, uh, I wish one of our people in the comments would name off everybody. They're Sketchy Chef, October Dragonfly, Just Like Granny, um, Frank Mentor SF, um, what do I cook? Cook it, cook it, Erica. Yep. And um, and she was just on, what was it called? Food Wars? What? Something. What was that show she was on? Food Wars or something? Uh, like Big Bad Budget Battle on Food Network. Yeah. It was awesome. All right. And then there's, um, just say all of our content creators. Yeah. Okay, she just said it. Y'all just listen to Grant, just like Granny. Ashby cooking, true that. Sketchy Shelf. And you can find us all up if you follow us on Food Talk TV. You can find us if you follow us on uh, foodtalktv.com. You can find us all. And um, it's, it's just getting harder because we're getting more creators. And it's hard to remember everybody unless I put a big list up on my wall. <laughs> so, but I do know we're on Pinterest, Instagram. And what was that thing you put us on the other day, Kaz? Uh, Twitch. Twitch. Yes. Twitch. Twitch. Hopefully soon we'll be going live on Twitch. Hopefully. I got too many places to go live already. Snapchat. We are on Snapchat. Yes, we are on Snapchat. And we we definitely are on Snapchat. <laughs> okay, loves so. Dreamcatcher loves Twitch. <laughs> oh really? Okay. We are on Twitch under Food Talk TV. But uh, we've only just started there, and we're still testing the waters. We're testing the equipment and testing the waters. Hey, the, guess what? Uh, what? Sketchy Chef and I have a streak on Snapchat. We're streaking on the Snapchat. Okay, so streaking must mean something different than I think it means. Yeah, it does. That means we send messages every day. If you do it for three days, you get a streak. And we're up to about day five or six. Okay. Yeah, I know. All right. So everything is in the sauce that needs to be in the sauce. I'm going to start making, I'm going to move this over to the stove and start making the cheesy garlic spread. All right. That's a meaty sauce, but it's not done. Okay. It's not done. This needs to uh, simmer down for for a little bit, okay? All right. You with me on this? Yes, and I've never tried smoked sausage in mine. 
either. Okay. But it sounds like it would be good. It is good. I guarantee so. Garn down to it. Mm. At the same time, I need a pot with some uh, with some noodles in it too. So I don't really have any light over here at the stove. We're going to have to get you some of those under the counter lights. I guess so. They're cheap and they're so easy to put up. Are they? And so worth it. I put mine up in about 15 minutes and it changed my life. It's as, it's as, if I had to get rid of it or my every utility tray, I'd get rid of the tray and you know I love it. Oh my God. Yes. You do love that. Yes, I okay. do. But those lights are awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to start the water the with a bunch of salt. Bunch of salt. The reason why no. you salt the water is th is this is the only time that you get a chance to for the noodles, to, uh, well for the spaghetti or any pasta to absorb any flavor. Spaghetti. So, uh, so you can do this uh, with salt. You can you can do it in, with chicken broth. Okay, but this is the time where you get to absorb uh, any flavor. Once you put it in the sauce, uh, the sauce covers it, but. Uh, the noodles are too far gone to absorb any flavor. So this is the time that uh, that you put anything in there or put the flavor in there. So let's come back over here. And we need to get a bowl. I guess you guys can come with me. Come, come with me into Narnia and we can get a bowl, okay? Yes. I always love going back to Narnia. Okay, so let's see. Actually, let me flip that camera so that I can see what we're seeing. Enhance, flip camera. Okay, here we go. So He has a lemon, a lemon decoration. Awesome. Okay, so it's dark in Narnia, but... I believe I'll be able to see something in a minute. Oh, there we go. Wonder what cooks is here. Hi, Rx. Okay, so. I've already seen the bowl that I want, but I guess I want to show you guys my pantry. Uh, everybody calls it Narnia. I love it. And it's a butler's pantry. What distinguishes a butler's pantry is... Um, if I want to use the uh, the instant pot, I don't have to take it into the kitchen. All I do is plug it in here. There is a uh, there's an outlet every two or three feet. So when I'm uh, cooking rice, I don't have to use up uh, space in my kitchen. All I have to do is come out here and do, and put it in here. As a matter of fact, this rice cooker is new to me. It was given to me by Sketchy Chef. Awesome. If I want to uh, uh, use my dehydrator, I don't have to bring it in. I just plug it in right there. So. Also, wow. on look the other this, side. Look at this, show. On the other side is everything else. And this uh, may look like a mess, but it's actually very organized. It's very organized. Uh, pasta sauces, marinara sauces. That's tomato sauce. Then we get into the beans. There's all kinds of different beans, pinto beans, refried beans. This is a bag of reconstituted or unreconstituted beans. Uh, I've got vegetables up there all kinds of soups over here. It's very, very organized. Over here is my spices. Top shelf are uh, straight spices, like unmixed with anything. Uh, red pepper, um, nutmeg, uh, just everything. And then over here, we've got the spices that are that are blends. Obey, tagine. Uh, <laughs> we've even got Twix. He, um, October Dragonfly thinks you need ethereal music in there. <laughs> you know, like 
I know, I know, huh? Yeah. Um, on this third shelf are things that I've used recently or will use. Who uh, uses like- craisins? Who has craisins? Me, I do, I do. But- craisins, yes, craisins. Okay, uh, Chick Fil A sauce. These are things that I've used. I've used recently. So this is uh, on this particular shelf. I put stuff that have to be reorganized either on the top shelf or the or the middle shelf. And what does Bama say about Chick Fil A sauce? It can make a flip flop taste good. That is correct. And it's true. And it's true. The bottom is baking stuff. Baking or um, Oh, look, there's some more craisins back there someplace, too. Oh, man. So, wow. anyway, I came back here for a bowl. Let's do Have that. Have y'all ever seen anybody that left-brained? <laughs> oh, wait. How about... Yeah, see? See? Y'all look. Look at that. And you know what? I can still to... never find a... I can still never find a lid. I can never find the one that I need. Ever ever so i also have um multiples because we do this show i have multiples of dishes uh down there is a pioneer woman uh eight eight by eight uh casserole dish but right underneath it is another one so that while i'm cooking for you guys right here i can uh have one in the refrigerator or in the oven ready to pull out so awesome. uh and I have doubles of pretty much all of uh, all of these dishes too, or all of these. Mine you know, is unorganized too. Yeah. All so, right. Well, what bowl are you going to use? Yes, let's get to the bowl. Let's get to the bowl. I forgot what I was making. Oh yeah. There we go. Just a glass that bowl. Would work. That would <laughs> oh, work. you know what else I need? I need uh, the seasoning of my choice. Which, wow, look, right in front of me. I love that stuff. Yes, right in front of me. Can't beat it. Okay, let's get back to cooking. I've only lost half my viewers. (laughs) But that's okay. All righty. Ooh, I can, I just came in the kitchen here and I can smell. That smells so good. Okay. I so, bet it does. Let's flip this camera again. Enhance and flip camera. Good. There you go. There we go. Actually. Okay. Okay, so this is cheesy garlic spread. Anybody who doesn't know it has really never followed me. So, but because I make it a lot. I make it a lot. And uh, Bama actually makes it a lot too. You know what I need to make this that I didn't think about previously though, Bama? Oh, Bama's gone. Let's see if she's back in. I do not see her. Let's see. I'm sure she's coming back in. I need a stick of softened butter. And I have butter. It is not softened. I could stick it in the microwave. Uh, But, you know, when you're cooking, even in real life, not just for TikTok, you have to improvise. So I'm going to soften this better. It's going to take about uh, 15 seconds. I'm going to put it in the microwave just like that for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to put it uh, back back in the microwave. I'm going to turn it and do another five seconds. And that will soften it. I think I'll bring, yeah, I'll bring you guys over here. And we'll, we're going to see. You guys can watch and see if I actually have a meltdown, which is possible, or whether I come up with softened butter. 
How about that? In case I have a meltdown though, we're gonna put it in a bowl. I am not afraid to do this on, on live. So let's give it a try. It started off at three, I hit it twice. It does 30 second increments. And there's 23, so that's 10 seconds. Let's do it again for another five seconds. We may have to do five seconds a few times, but if we don't do, if we do more than five seconds, it'll be just a puddle and I won't be able to use it that way. That's five seconds. And how do I know it's five seconds? I'm watching the timer. So it's getting softer. I can press it. Now, guess what? 15 seconds was absolutely right. This is softened butter. Right out of the fridge. So I hope that helps you guys. That's another little trick. Fifteen seconds is all it should take. Okay. It is one stick of butter, one cup of mayonnaise. Mayo. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Let's see if Bama is back. Oh, she is. Okay, so I don't need any Karens fussing at me because I forgot to silence my phone. But my son called me and it kicked me out. I have it on silence. I have it on silence now. So, hi, Ellen. Am I a Karen? <laughs> no, but I just figured some somebody would say, "Why didn't you silence your phone?" Okay. I should have. I forgot. Duh. So while you were gone, did you happen to see the um, problem I had with the uh, butter? Oh, I was watching the whole time. Yeah. Um, but I did the very same thing right before my live the other night. I did that when I made it in the afternoon. Because I who remembers what? to get out butter? I don't. <laughs> I know, huh? I don't. You know, somebody should make a TikTok on this. You oh. you make all the hacking uh, TikToks. You should uh, teach people this. I have, another, I have another way to melt it, too. Sure, tell me. Well, like, um, if you get your... Um, a bowl hot, like your a mixing bowl that goes yeah. on your KitchenAid. Get it hot and put it down in there. You know, run hot water, dry it out, put it down in there and put a towel over it. I've done that. But I usually just use the microwave. I've done that a bunch. Okay. All right, Chef Bradley. Why didn't you silence your phone? There he goes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to call you Chef what do we call guys that are Karens? Bradleys. I think you can still call them Karen. No, I'm going to call them Bradleys. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, henceforth, all the henceforth. male Karens are going to be called uh, Bradley? Bradleys. Okay, great. There you yep. go. Yep. <laughs> uh, don't be a chef, Bradley. Uh, okay, so it's one stick of butter, one cup of mayonnaise the seasoning of your choice and it doesn't matter whether it's barbecue seasoning uh whether it's uh uh montreal seasoning whatever makes you happy hit that on the bottom you need more 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 pop it on the bottom make that stuff come out okay oh, see look at much. that 
No, it's not. You can't put too much garlic. I'm sorry. They call it cheesy garlic bread for a reason. That's right. Okay, so. I did. So now let's get some garlic in here. And then I'm going to put the cheeses in. Yeah, I love garlic too. Uh, what do I cook says chipotle or chile guajillo for me. Oh, yeah, boy. That will work. It's of your choice. See? He's just <laughs> afraid to use do you, boo. Afraid of the copyright infringement. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you threatened to sue us before, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, just uh, sneeze, so I have to go wash my hands. Even okay. if he's the only one going to eat it. That's right. Even if I'm the only one going to eat it. Okay, so you can use any kind of mozzarella. You can use the pre-shredded mozzarella. I bought a block. And you can use any kind of Parmesan, even the stuff in the green bottle, okay? Or the bottle with the green top. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is still going to be awesome. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh, this is easy open. I thought I was going to have to cut it open. Well, I still might have to cut it open. But I would like for that easy open to be really easy. Oh, okay, here we go. Those easy open ones just really tick me off, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm just not, I'm gonna be straight up with you. They right. are pitiful for okay. a girl, for girls. All right, so I'm gonna find it. You guys can do it. Please get it into my... How are you going to chop that up? Oh, I need one of those. I do not have one. Uh, you know what? They're good Don't. for TikTok, but they're actually a pain. They really are. That's why I buy it already shredded. You know? Let's see. I'm not sure the best best angle. Let me move this for you. So you can see what it actually does. All right, he's making spaghetti and he's also making the cheesy garlic spread to put over the bread. So have garlic bread as well. And he's making his sauce on the stove and getting the water hot. Look at that. Okay, see you see how it works? Well, yeah. Get the OXO brand of these. The metal ones are a pain to use. O Definitely a pain. What's an OXO? It's a brand. Uh, they sell it at... Uh, uh, the, uh, OXO is a brand that's typically sold at Bed Bath & Beyond. Well, I'm going to be hitting up the Bed Bath & Beyond. Also, you see how much it, it got me. I, you have to constantly reload these things. But there's, they're still good for TikTok, you know. And we do things for TikTok. We do it for the views. Right. I just cook. <laughs> and if I show something spiffy like running some cilantro through a cheese grater, hey, I just lucked out that day. But... I put it on so far into my TikTok, people are like, maybe two people even saw it. They're like, whoa, what a cilantro hack. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> two people saw it. Okay, Five so ten that, people. Now, we need some mozzarella in there because uh, Parmesan doesn't really melt. Parmesan is going to give it a nice uh, brown, browning effect. So let's get some uh, mozzarella in there. Hi, Kickin' Ash Barbecue. How are you doing? Hey, Kickin' Ash. 
with that out of the way. We need a box grater. Awesome. Hey, if y'all can tap the screen, get some more people, share the live. Stay yourself. I had Tom step away. What's in that mix? All right. It is, um, so far, it's man a, a cup of mayonnaise, a, uh, I forgot. Oh, a, cu a, cu a stick of uh, softened butter, a cup of mayonnaise, a half cup of Parmesan, the seasoning of your choice. He put a garlic, uh, and then he put Parmesan. Now he's going to grate up some mozzarella. 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 And I haven't got to the uh, to the garlic yet. I did Albert, put in, I did put in oh. some garlic seasoning though. Let me tell Al Alberta girl. Alberta, Canada, baby. Uh, let me just say that there is a TikTok on my page. Uh, I posted a couple of days how to make this. There's also one on Kaz's page as I got it from him. It's called Cheesy Garlic Spread. And there's already a TikTok out there for that. So hit it I, up. It is so good. Once you make this, you will always make it. Always. And you'll keep what's left in your refrigerator because it stays good for like ever. And then you can just someday go, oh, I wish I had some cheesy garlic. Looky here. And just make you some. It's awesome. And you don't need French bread. Matter of fact, I'm not using French bread today. You can use just plain bread. You can yeah. use a, a, a roll. You can use a baguette. You can use anything with this, and it'll stay soft even after you cook. The next day, it'll still be soft. Put it in a zip bag after it cools, and it'll still be pliable. So good. So good, y'all. It is so good. Okay, so that's enough mozzarella. That's about four ounces, a half cup. That was an eight ounce stick or an eight, eight ounce block. And let's get that in there. Yes. Y'all, you can't go wrong with this. No, you can't. You, is the, have you got everything in it now? No. I need, uh, I do need to put in some garlic. Otherwise, it's just not going to meet uh, meet expectations. Yes. Yes, you are correct. My mama always used white bread for garlic. So did mine, honey. So did mine. Poor folks have poor ways and we ate just fine. <laughs> I used ranch and put it on English muffins. You measure garlic with your heart. You absolutely measure garlic with your heart. Yes, you do. Yes, okay. Canada. I was right. So this time, I'm not going to, I'm still not going to use this. It's too pretty to use right now. And I'm not going to use this because I want, and the reason why I'm using the uh, squeeze garlic is because I really want that garlic juice. I really want that garlic juice. I really want this to taste like garlic. If you'll hurry up and end this live, I can go make me some. I bet you I bet you've got some made already. I do. I can just slap it on some toast and put it in my air fryer slash uh, oven slash toaster. It's the best little thing ever. Yes. Y'all garlic is so good. Okay, here we go. Let's get it going. Now, I'm going to have leftovers. 
You always have leftovers of this. All right, Joanne, this is called cheesy garlic spread. You can find the recipe on Cooking with Kaz or mine on our page. I just put, posted it the other day. It is so good. It makes garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread. Goulash. It's got butter in it. It's got mayonnaise in it. It's got uh, it's got garlic in it. It's got um, uh, seasoning in it, whatever seasoning you want. It's got Parmesan cheese in there to brown it up. And it's got uh, mozzarella cheese in there to make it stringy. This is the best stuff. That's a okay. lot of peaches. What are y'all talking about? They're talking about, oh, Alberta girl said she just canned 220, <laughs> 220 pounds of peaches. Ooh, 220 pounds. That is a lot of peaches. That is a lot of peaches. A lot of peaches. Y'all, that is going to be good. Why do you see it cooked? Yes. You don't need to freeze this. You can just put store it in your refrigerator. I know up to two weeks because think about all the ingredients that's in it. They're already shelf stable, you know, and so it'll stay. It'll, I use some I'd had in mine for two weeks and I did a side by side comparison. Couldn't tell the difference. Okay, so I'm just cleaning some stuff off the off this. See if you can get somebody to follow us while I'm doing this. Please follow us. You're not following us? Come on, guys. Right up there at the top left, you'll see Food Talk TV. Smash it. Follow us. Please follow us. And then go look it inside there, and you'll see all the creators. We all go live on Food Talk TV one day a week, and my day is Monday. Kaz's day is Sunday, usually. We're going to start changing that up a bit, and uh, I'm trying to think. I know uh, Just Like Granny's is on Wednesday, and Trish's is today, but Kaz is in here for her. Just get your shell. She's sick, so we're taking um, her place today. Um but anyway, we're from everywhere. Like, I don't know where Wadawa Cooks is from right now. I know she's lived Miami. in Ecuador. Miami. Okay, she, she's from Ecuador, correct? Yes. Okay. And she speaks Spanish. She speaks English. I don't know what else she speaks. And her, cut, her uh, video content, her TikTok content is going to be in Spanish. Yeah, on Food Talk. So if you get on there and you see something, maybe we can translate it. I used to teach Spanish, but, you know, I love when Bama is paired with Kaz, the best banter. <laughs> yeah, get busy. I think they're just like that you pick on me. That's what that yeah, sounds like. Yeah, well, you just get busy. I'll take care of this over here. Get those noodles cooked. What's taking you so long? I do speak Food Talk TV. I I specialized that in, in college. That was my specialty. <laughs> Food Talk TV banter. I knew <laughs> I would be meeting up with him. He's a hard one, you see. Uh, all right. How do you say your name? Asumi 66? Yes, that's it. Said you're looking good, Kaz. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, okay. I've got the, um, oh, you can't see, can't see that, can you? Well, vaguely. I mean, just, you know, okay. it's okay. right in the middle. Listen, it's right in the middle of the comments. So spin it a little bit more. Okay. Let's do that. Or just something. a little bit more. Because we, we need it out of the food. Maybe downward or, yeah, there you go. Okay. Spanish, right. English, some Hebrew, and Mandarin. Wow. Okay. That's what so she speaks. I do not have French bread. But what I do have is a camera that almost fell. Wow. That would have been bad. 
finally happened to you. It did. It happens to it me did. all the time. <laughs> it did. Okay, so now let's set, set that up. Again. Oh, me. thank you for the gifts. Is thank you. you for the gifts. Is you me? Oh, is you me? Oh, that's okay. how you say it, Cass. Is you what me? Is, is you is me? You. <laughs> okay, so I don't have French bread or Italian bread, but what I do have hamburger buns. Hamburger buns. Yeah, I mean, whatever works. Whatever works. Because this is the star. Okay? This is That's, the star. He's right, y'all. Yes. What's, uh, oh, White Castle. They've got the little bitty sandwiches. What are the little bitty sandwiches called? Sliders. Sliders, sliders, yes. Even if you only have sliders. That stuff. It's the cheesy garlic spread. That's what the star is, okay? Look at the September. But there's a very specific way that you apply these. And that's edge to edge. You get the you get this stuff slathered all over it. Did you not did you not mute your phone? Yeah, well, that's another phone, so I don't care. Hey, uh, your water is boiling, Kaz. That's what uh, <laughs> one of the viewers is telling you. The water's boiling. Okay, good. I hope there's no noodles in it. Y'all, you want that side to side all over that bun. Yes, edge to edge. Edge to edge. Edge to edge. Okay. That's Thank one. You. Oh, special case, special Karen in Ohio. So don't be a Bradley, Karen. Don't be a Bradley. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ooh, Chef Bradley. Wow. You must have <laughs> earned deserved that. it. He did earn it. He did. Thank you, Rx. She's sending money. She's sending Great. gifts. She's sending soccer balls and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I'm only making <laughs> two of these because I'm the only one who's eating it. But um, And what I'm doing is because I know that I'll want more. I'm using two tops because I'm going to broil and I don't want to one, have one closer than the other. Okay, was that a galaxy? Yeah, Somebody got I, a galaxy? It, yeah Bradley sent... He sent, I don't know if it was a galaxy, but it was beautiful. Very, wow. very pretty. Yeah, that looked like a galaxy. That Thank you. Penimous. That okay. might have been to me. It might have been. Well, I've got 159 coins in there from somebody. Somebody loves me. I need something to drink crystal. my noodles. They've been in there about eight minutes. So there's a White Castle like restaurant. Is is there a White Castle you can buy uh, those little burgers in? Thank you, Bradley. Am I frozen? Somebody needs to answer me. Is there a White Castle that you can go uh, to? Only White Castle I, I'm familiar with is um, you know, is what? What do you say? Is it is it just a box of stuff, or is there a place you can go to? Yes, there is a White Castle. Whoa. No, I'm not kidding. I'm from Arkansas, people. We yeah, don't have no that White stuff. Castle. There's no White Castle in Texas that I know of. We don't. We have an In and Out Burger. Well, in Texas, I go there sometimes. I've never seen one in Arkansas. I've never seen a Bucky's in Arkansas. 
but okay, I've seen them so, in Oklahoma and Texas. Looky. Now, I didn't fully drain this. There's actual uh, water in this, and you'll see it when it pours out. I'm going to pour it into here. Can you see the water? I can see it. Okay. Now, what I do is I only make enough noodles for me. There's twice as much sauce in here. So I'm going to uh, take out what I want. And when I want more noodles, I'm going to make some more noodles and put it in the rest of the sauce. But I only make enough noodles for me. Just because you have a pot of sauce does not mean that you have to have uh, make more noodles than you need. Whoa. You really don't. Thanks. Okay. Uh, sketchy sent uh, an arcade, I think. Let's Must be an easy. To low. Crystal Burgers. What's up, Crystal Burger? Oh, my goodness. So, some people will look at this and say, oh, you need more noodles. Well, you only need as many noodles as you're going to eat. Because if you don't eat them all, they're going to get fat, overcooked, and mushy. And that's not good food. Unless, Did of you course, ever eat spaghetti? Making, <laughs> unless, unless, of course, unless, of course, you're making um, spaghetti sandwiches the next day. I, I totally would. Dairy Queen, yes, Dairy Queen, love them. Neither of them are in Virginia Beach, Virginia, right? Uh, she's mad because you didn't scrape the noodles out. See, I'm not even going to tell oh, you. I, who... I did, I did. No, she's right. She's right. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yes. Okay. Anytime us old people are getting told what to do, it's by a junior flipper. What's of going course on? it is. A little junior flipper down there telling us how to run business. <laughs> I've been doing business since before you were thought of, little girly. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? There okay, it is. Good. There <laughs> it is. Uh. Also, if I wasn't on TikTok, I wouldn't be using this many pans either. Yes, same. So the noodles weren't quite done, but they will be done in a couple minutes in the sauce. Uh, I'm going to go and find a little pan to put my bread in. That's going to take another uh, eight minutes all together, and then I'll be eating. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be good. It's only too much sauce. If you don't like a lot of sauce. But now let me tell you something. That garlic bread, that cheesy garlic. Have you put that in the oven? No, not yet. I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put it in the oven right now. Is it heated up? Yes. Okay. Well, we need a timer. Somebody timer for 10 minutes. Tell your house. It usually tell, does what you say. He can make his house just mind him. Watch this. Tell oh, you're not putting it in yet. No, I will. Once I get it in. Hey Google, set a timer for seven minutes. I thought it was ten. It is seven minutes at three fifty and then three minutes at in boil. Well, I do mine in an air fryer, so oh, yeah. But it's good. Just right sauce. Sop it up with garlic bread. See, Love Shack. The Love Shack knows creative designs. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. You know what mm -hmm. I need in there, though? I need some cheese. Let's get some more garlic or some more Parmesan. Okay. Can we have too much cheese? I, I don't put cheese in my spaghetti, but... You know? Oh, okay. 
Well, I now sometimes I put Parmesan over the top, but not very much. I don't. But I take, I go to a Mexican restaurant and I pull the cheese off almost everything. Because to me, there is a, a, a food wagon, a food truck here in town, and uh, they cook authentic Mexican. And I talked to the girl and I had a beauty of taco the other day. My first one's so good. <sighs> now, I don't put a whole lot of cheese on anything, but then, you know, there's a reason. So I don't know. All right. So I'm going to taste it and then I'm going to see who knows. I may need to put some sugar in it. True. Uh, can I brag on one of our creators? Sure. Okay. Well, today, uh, just like Granny Ashton, hit 120K. Whoa! She did. She hit 120K. And uh, we're really proud of her. So if you'll go follow Just Like Granny, you'll hear a, a, an accent and you'll see good food and you'll love it. Because I don't have Southern an Sweden. She does. She has an accent. She, she's from Southern Sweden. So. <laughs> in the town of Georgia Georgia, Sweden yeah, yes uh, well hmm. I think that it is perfect I knew you were going to say that I think that it is perfect okay, let's do that Hey, Google, how much time left on the timer? Four minutes and 15 seconds. Let's Did put it some say stuff. that? I wonder if Siri would do that if I asked her. Oh, yeah, she would. She would Thank definitely. You do TikTok. Things you learned on TikTok today. No, this is spaghetti. And he's got um, cheesy garlic bread in the oven. And he's just about to turn on the broiler in about three, three and a half minutes. That's right. Uh, look at him putting the saran wrap over the uh, cheesy garlic spread. Because he can put that in the refrigerator and use it for up to two or three weeks. I I don't know. I, if you keep it longer than three weeks, you didn't like it anyway. Once yep. you try it, you're going to use it up. I'm just saying you will because it's that good. I don't play I that sent much. that to somebody in your comments and they were kind of offended. Well, no, it's true. <laughs> I'm not trying to be ugly, but I'm just like, if you don't use it up, it wasn't your deal. And that's okay. You're not, it's, you're not required to like it right. but did you say hey ashton out of curiosity how many likes did you say that we had to get before you went live a whole bunch of times tomorrow what'd she say kaz uh, i thought she said thirty thousand. well we have 35.9 right now so oh <clears throat> you better go to bed and get rested up little chica you got some stuff to do tomorrow <laughs> yeah what? All right, y'all okay. get to tap it. Man, I want to get this. Uh, want to get this garlic spread or garlic spread done. Do you have it under the broiler now? No, not yet. I do hate. Plastic. Okay, so the uh, the directions on this are to put the um, here. Let, let me come up where I can look at you guys here. You take the uh, the garlic. Uh, garlic bread and you put it on the in the oven at 350 for seven minutes the reason why you do it for seven minutes is because you want the mayonnaise and the butter to melt into the bread it makes it juicy uh not juicy but uh, moist right that's your moist word. moist 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 uh anyway. it's a good word it's a good it, word it uh seeps into the seeps into the bread and then uh, you put it on broil for three minutes. In my case, I better just do it for one minute because uh, anytime I put anything on broil, I create a fire. 
uh, but you put it on broil to brown it up. Uh, right. That's what I'm thinking now is, uh, is the chance to put it on uh, broil. I'm going to go get my other phone because now they're saying that it was 45000 and we're up to thirty eight. so I need to help. Y'all need to help. we got to get Ashton where she's yeah, going to have to come live a bunch of times tomorrow. Okay. Am I shaking? I'm shaking because I've got Parkinson's. Don't make fun of me. That's a joke, guys. That's a joke. Don't start sending me cards. I do not have Parkinson's. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to get this other phone. Okay. I'm getting it. I know Ashton's got to be on her channel saying send prayers to Kaz because that's just the way she is. Yeah, she'll have everybody convinced that I'm on my deathbed tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa, okay. wait, what? Okay. We got, we got one more minute. Oh, we got three seconds. Okay, okay. I'll be showing you what it looks like before it goes on broil. Right now, it's just melting, okay? Now it's going to go on broil for, uh, for two to three minutes. And then it's going to be brown and beautiful. Oh, they're admiring you, Kaz, because you haven't uh, gotten your chef jacket dirty. Google, stop. Google, or hey, Google, set a timer for three minutes. Do you hear how he talks to his Google? Google, stop. Just stop it now. That's <laughs> <laughs> no now, way to talk. Everybody's oven has got this little. The hitch will keep it open. The reason why, uh, the reason why this is here, is so that you can broil and not forget that your oven is on. You don't lose any heat because the the heat is going from the top to the bottom. But if you close it up and walk away, and I've done this many times then you can forget that it's on. So when you're broiling, you open the you open your oven. It's got this stop right here. Every oven has it. And that's so that you can broil. It's a safety feature. And anybody who's watched me for long enough knows that, yeah, guess what? Uh, I don't pay attention. So <laughs> let me get a plate. And I think that I, we lost Bama again. Let's see if she's going to come back in. Thank you, Karen, for the gifts. I appreciate it. We're going to stop this. Oh, we just passed 45, and that was my whole goal. I accidentally went in on the wrong account and got myself banned again. <laughs> <laughs> Happens well, every time. Well, stop smoking on live. What? I keep telling you that. Whatever, I don't smoke, y'all. That's called, uh, boy, he's feeding y'all a line. I don't smoke. I have asthma. I can't smoke. Uh, <sighs> See? <sighs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I had uh, something on the boiler, didn't I? Oh, my gosh. You didn't catch the house on fire again, did you? Nope. Got it just right. Boy, that was a stroke of luck right there. It's always Kaz a stroke of luck nice when you get right. I've heard a lot of comments about Kaz. That's not one of them. <laughs> Sorry. Kaz, you have nice teeth. Let's see. Cheese for us so we can see your nice teeth. 
Look at him. He does right, have nice teeth. Look at those. They're doing a world of good for dentures these days. I'm just kidding, Kaz. What? I'm kidding. I know. I, you? I saw you on your live doing your, ooh, that looks good, doing your cleaning. What's the drawer? Go, go, stop. The door for? Okay. So this is what it's supposed to look like. The brown parts are Parmesan because they don't melt. Everything else is melty and soft. It's so good. Very soft. And and guess what? It'll stay soft too. Can I ask a question somebody's asking for? Sure. They're wanting to know what's that drawer under the oven for. That's where I keep my skillets. I don't know what Cass does there. Okay. So a lot of times that drawer is a warming table. Sometimes really? it's where the broiler is at. In my case, uh, it's just a storage. Me too. So it really d just depends on what your how your uh, oven is designed. And Chef Bradley said you're a handsome man. Well, so is Chef Bradley. Mm. You know, maybe one day when Chef Bradley isn't um, isn't at work because he's at work a lot of times when we're on live, even though he he's a loyal follower. Maybe he can actually come in the box. He goes Ooh. live on his own channel quite a bit. Then I can see if he looks like what I think he does. I think I'll watch some videos, though. A male Karen? Huh? A male Karen? Yes. I, yes. He does. <laughs> he does look like a male Karen. Bradley. Bradley. He said he would love to, Kaz. That does really look good. Let's, uh, you could make you a, hamburg a spaghetti hamburger right now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> I would eat it. If I was to broil. My grandma's was to broil as well. Be right back. Going to check Bradley's page to see if he looks like a male Karen. <laughs> the Righteous Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Said she was going to go to Bradley's page to see if he looked like a like a male Karen. Let me know. Here I'm gonna go to <laughs> my other phone. I'm gonna go look on my other phone. Oh golly, that's a scream scaring right there. Yeah. The male Karen. Let's see. He cooks. Yes, he does. He cooks, he goes live. Uh, uh, Chef, Chef Bradley and I have met each other before and his beautiful wife, uh, Dixie. And this is my dinner. Look, I've been there. Hey, Bradley, you know that uh, tenderized venison? Uh, I have a P.O. box up in my link. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so did you guys get a good look at that? Did anybody get a look at it? Go down. You're, now there. That is beautiful, Kaz. Look at you. I know it's not as pretty as um, Sketchy Chef would have made it, but she ain't here. Oh, I mean, she's in the comments, but this is my dinner, guys. I love the sauce that sticks to the pasta, too. I do. I just really. Uh, Arik said it looks pretty. So did. No, let's see what Sketchy said. She said pretty. Yeah. And there Granny is. said. And Granny said it looks like spaghetti out of the can. Thank you. Thank well, you. You know what? You can always depend who, on the her. people who put spaghetti in a can have made millions of dollars. So exactly. I'm good with that. Uh, <laughs> Sketchy said, tell Kaz he did my day good. <laughs> that is cheesy garlic spread. Yummo. Tell Sketchy I don't care what she thinks. <laughs> oh, she 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 said you did a good job. Okay. And she said it looks pretty. It's Granny who said it looks like it's out of a can. 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know what? Granny likes stuff out of a can too. She makes, uh, she pretends that she can cook on her channel. Right. You don't know, but she's got YouTube sitting right there. Thanks, Kitchy. Hey, listen. Uh, we have 52.3 thousand likes. That was another galaxy. Step <laughs> really. Stop that really. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Yeah, yes. Uh, I like that Chef Bradley knows his way around a cast iron skillet and can cook in, in it with charcoal. 